Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. If this is your very first time to this channel, run and subscribe for me. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. It's beside the word subscribe so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of us, some things that we do. And we do it every single day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and come on, take for the team. Comment like a share and come on, take for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to come like a share. Okay, you got to check this out. We're going to pray. We're going to answer the good Here we go. Hey, man. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? You guys, over here to the side. Just being is here today. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Just being came for the video. And he says, hello. Let's see if he's not nice refreshing. Uh, he is just being has that not to do with him. Also, if it's the side, you guys, I got my lips hot sauce. If you like your bottle, look way up in the top of the screen, blue. Hit that link, and right there, you can get your lips hot sauce. And it's merch. Okay, you guys, today for the food. We got a pile of catfish. We got some catfish fillets. We got some catfish nuggets. We got some fried okra. We got some corn on the cob over here. I got some onions and some jalapenos. I got some um, um, ketchup. And I have got some tartar sauce red down. Let's get to eating. Let me move this out of the way. Help him, help y'all may, y'all may want. Uh oh, I dropped my jalapeno. Wait a sec. Y'all may want to see me dip, baby dip. So let me move it out of the way. So maybe y'all can see a dip, honey. That may be what y'all want to see. All right, y'all see it over now. You can see a little bit later. Okay. Right, anyway, let's get to eat. Let's go. Oh, y'all, what's wrong with me? Mmm. 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 Mm. Y'all, we have already got Sunday down over there cooking the crock pot. Mm -hmm. The production was in here watching and mm -hmm. tartar sauce and ketchup. That's what I want on my fish. I'm gonna be the first little bite of the, the cabbage nugget. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baby, let's do it. Mmm, I'm trying to throw it Let's get some ketchup and some hot sauce. Ketchup and hot sauce. Mmm. Baby. Darling. Mmm. Mmm. Can you turn that pan off over there? That pan kind of loud, honey. Mmm. 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 Mmm, y'all, it rained today. It was supposed to rain all week, but it did rain today. Feel like it made it hotter. Y'all, some corn. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You can tell my sweet. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yes, sir. Mmm. Y'all want the barbecue. Today, hopefully we'll get to tomorrow. Mm. Hopefully, mm. Mm. hopefully we will. Um, because that's really what I have to take for some barbecue, y'all. Mm -hmm. And some barbecue chicken wings or something. <coughs> I'm gonna say. Mm. All right, some barbecue chicken wings. I want some smoked sausage. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I do. But I'm thinking maybe I make barbecue. Or we make barbecue because I don't know how to barbecue. Production have to do that. Um, mm, we may barbecue some pig parts, y'all. Mm -hmm. 
some some oink oink parts, honey. Yep. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, it's so good. It's so good. So good. Man, I know. Let me put some of this onion over here. Mm. I know a lot of people. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like that feeling. For whatever reason. But back when I tell you, that is one of the most delicious pieces of fish, or parts of the fish, or kind of fish, one time thing. Mm-hmm. But we're gonna put some tartar sauce on him. And we're gonna put some hot sauce. Just so put some hot sauce <laughs> on now. And see what that's gonna come to be. Yeah. See what that's gonna come to be. Mm. 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 Talk to him when he even smack him. I mean ice. He loves ice. Mm. 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 When it rained today, the sun didn't come back out. But it felt like it got hotter. Mm. That was strange, honey. It was. It was strange, but it was also true, honey. Mm. Yep. Mm. So, are y'all adjusting? Go to you, who kids have already went back to school. Are y'all adjusting? Mm-hmm. Because after in school, you know, nine months more for the year. <sighs> That's like the normal time for us parents. That's the normal part of the year for us. Mm-hmm. But... Pusay was supposed to go back face to face this year, y'all. Supposed to. Mm-mm. Not yet. Mm-hmm. So Pusay is, at the moment, still, you know, in virtual. Because if they end the year mm, in virtual and you don't go to the school and register, then they have to start to get back out in virtual again, which is still fine with me. My baby still makes straight days, even though she does want to go back. She does. She want to go back face to face. She says it's less boring. I can understand that too. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this fish is oak is crunchy. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. I haven't had catfish nuggets in a long time. But when we were in the grocery store, I saw a pack of my savings give me a pack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What y'all having today? What y'all eating on, honey? And I hope it's something good, honey. I do. Mm-hmm. Um, so, maybe the heat wave, y'all, that was running across the country, now that this storm, all this rain and stuff and thunder and all this is, is coming across, maybe it cool everything down, maybe. At least for a little while. Anyway, 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. That's good. I guess shot up there the day for yesterday. I guess with a 40 cent a gallon. A 40 cent per gallon. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm. 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 That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm. That's so good. Mm. Mm. That's what we're Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Cause y'all hear that crunch. Baby, baby, baby. That crunch is everything in my mouth. Oh, I got my onion up here too. Y'all know how I get about my onion stuff. Mm-hmm. Get out of there. Get out of there. Anyway. So uh, mm. 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 Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's so good. Mm. I thought about having some broccoli and cheese, but mm. Mm. I wanted this corn and okra. I did. That was a little fried okra. Mm. Basically, anything you see on my show is something I love to eat. Mm. Because most of the time, when you see me eat on the video, that be my only meal of the day. And I'm not going to be sitting up here wasting on something I don't want. Not doing it. Uh-uh. Nope. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. Mm. It'll be real funny to me sometimes how production and I production has a real exotic taste bud. Like right? the seafood, you know, octopuses, all different cultures. There's so many things that worth my hood, I would never taste it. Like sushi, which is one of my favorite foods now, it's worth my hood. I don't know if I would ever taste it. I don't. He has introduced me to a whole lot of foods. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would have tasted it other than that. But going what I'm saying, then I have a vast taste bud for so many things, especially country eat, soul food, stuff like that. You know that pig, honey? Mm-hmm. But it's just so funny to me how both of our taste buds and our variety of food that we eat is so vast. And our daughter don't really like me. <laughs> she don't. Um, you know, she, I'm not saying she don't like anything, but she's more of a basic eater. Um, uh, compared to what we do. But when she was a baby, honey, you see what we put in, what we put in front of her. Mm-hmm. She would. Mmm. 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 This is so good. It's good. And it's what I wanted. Mmm-hmm. I believe it's a Sunday. I believe I'm going to have to put on a get down show, y'all. I really do. Because, baby, we're going to eat on Sunday. Mmm-hmm. We've been eating on Sunday. I'm going to see if I can't treat a hubby girl video. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> um, so let me ask y'all something. We have some friends in uh, some part of Louisiana, I think. Don't Randy live in Louisiana? Randy and Kelton. I have some part of Louisiana. Did she? Yeah. Oh. Well, y'all, I don't know where it's at. I thought she was in Louisiana. My hook's like somewhere up north. But do y'all know 
about this school program where um, the kids are in school <coughs> like all year long. I thought that was the coolest thing. We've been knowing about it for a while, but I guess I didn't really know how it worked until recently. Where they go to school all year long, but it's like they go for two weeks, then they out for a week, and then they go for a week, they're out two weeks, go for a month, out a month. But they go to school year round. They had them many breaks. I think that would work with my schedule. What you think? You think it worked with for yours? That is a great way of uh, being able to plan, you know, like family family get together and mm, mm. So of course you will miss some things so it ain't gonna work out always. But it just seems like that's a great structure. Mm -hmm. Other than if the child goes to school a month and learns something, then they out a whole month and may forget it. So that may be a drawback to it. Possibly. Um, whoa! So, y'all. But the little kiddies, if they're not already back in school, they're definitely getting ready to go. Definitely. They're getting ready to go. And things, like I said, to go back to the normal because they're in school, you know, that biggest portion of the year, or like nine months or whatever. Um, mm. Excuse me, y'all. But now it's back to homework, bedtime, get your bath, get up in the morning, get your breakfast, get up out of him, all of it. You know, it's back to all of it. School actually feels like it's harder on the parents than it is the children. If not, you know, if you have smaller children, but you still got to get ready and either whether your child catches the bus or not. Um, and all of that because we, Pooh State has been in, in virtual now since COVID started, three years. Mm -hmm. So, if in fact that she does go back to school face to face this year, that is going to be a big change. Not only for her, but you know what I'm saying? That's a big change. Mm, it really is. Um, I just know it's got to be harder on the parents, unless you have older children, on the parents who uh, children are going to school because it's all hard on us. When Pooh said going virtual, getting up, getting the feed, you know, we're not going virtually. It's harder. Um, I didn't say harder, but. We're generally not as strict on being in the bed, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, that type of thing. I mean, 8, 9 o'clock at night. Uh, which Pooh says a bedtime ain't been there, no way. She thought her bedtime was always been 10. Um, because we don't really have any problem with her. From time to time we do. But we don't really have problems with her getting up, you know what I'm saying, and going on to school and do what she got to do, and she makes her day. Um... But for the parents, it's got to get them up, get them fed, you know, get them ready, get the clothes on, make sure they lotion down and all that. If you're driving to school, get them driving, all that kind of stuff. That's got to be rough. I don't remember what it was like now, y'all. I don't. Because uh, Pusay had been to school face-to-face -face since, what, second grade? I think second grade. So, I don't remember how that went. I don't. I don't remember how that went. Even though I felt like I, we were prepared for it this year because, um, but she still ended up going virtual anyway, at least for now. But, y'all, it just, sometimes I be sitting here and I be looking at Pooh State and looking at our family and how it's grown and how she's grown and stuff and I be saying to myself, where is my baby at? You know, where my baby at? I tell you this sometimes. Where my baby at, honey? The one used to lay on my chest and could do no wrong. Where she at? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God knows. 
children are the greatest gift. They really are. Children are the greatest gift. To see yourself, to see your influences and, you know, you know, just to see the mark that you put on them as they're growing up and how they change and, but I'm also kind of afraid because we're going to go into the teenage era with Pusang soon and all that it has to come along with it. Um, my nieces and nephews, of course, they didn't live in the house with me, but I do remember them being teenagers and being hard-headed. I remember that. I do. I really do. I remember that. So we ain't got but a couple more years and we'll be there. You know, as, as proud as I am of the young lady that she is becoming, I'm also sad, y'all. I ain't got that many more years with her. I got I got less years with her than I've already had with her as far as her being a child or possibly being under my roof, which I hope Hussein goes to school here in Atlanta. Honestly, well, she can drive from, you know, the house to school every day when she goes to college, but she may not want to do that, but wherever it is, I already told my husband, wherever she decides to go, honey, we going to. He didn't make it always agree. <laughs> but we going. Hey, hey, glory. So, Leah, is she going far, 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 far away? Uh-uh. We got to move, honey. What y'all think about that? My, my husband don't really, my husband don't agree, even though he will go, but um, he doesn't agree that we should leave, uh, you know, and move wherever she goes to school to. But my baby need me. She need her daddies. Get out. She might not want her daddies by the end. I think that's what his point is. <laughs> but y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. If your child left home to go to college, you know what I mean? And I don't know. I just feel like my baby's going to be needing us. I'll be too far away, you know, to get to her. I think I can deal with her being away, like, mm, maybe... Two, three, four hours at the max for me to be able to drive. That's what about 300 miles. You know, I could probably be at ease in four hours. Because in four hours, if I can get there in four hours, I'd be all right. My husband's not be doing too much. But I just think if she needs us, we ought to be able to be in striking distance. And I don't have to drive no seven, eight hours to get to her if she needs us. If it was up to me, if it was totally up to me, wherever she went to college at, we'd buy a house there. So she could stay at home still and go to college from home. That would be my dream. I really want to wish she'd just go to college here. But they got to grow up and do what they want to do. But I still don't want her to leave. <laughs> I don't, y'all. I told my baby I, she can stay in the house with me and my hood as long as she wants to. Mm-hmm. Yep. I did. I told her that. She ain't got to leave our house until she finds somebody going to treat her the way we don't, the way we raised her. Mm-hmm. Don't get out there and give me no knucklehead. Even though I could stop it, but don't get out there and give me no knucklehead. And that are, um, leave home and ain't prepared and everything. Got to come bike. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I wrote you just stay here till you 32. <laughs> and leave when you know you good. You know. I do. I know I'm gonna be the type of, I already am, but I know I'm gonna continue to be the type of parent that's gonna hover over my child. I know that, I do, I really, really do. And it's in a different way. My husband does treat her a little more not babyish than I do, but he's still spoiled to death. He all be talking about what I be doing, but he's spoiled just as much as I do. He do. Um, that's our little queen, honey, y'all. We love that little girl. Do you hear me? For real. Anyway, y'all, let me go. I'm through eating now anyway. Let me go. Let me get up out of here. I love you guys so, so much. I truly should do. Like I said, y'all, today, I, 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 I was just rambling on a little bit. I was really hungry when I first sat down here, but then when I started eating, my stomach felt filled up fast. I think I was eating so fast, I may have put some air down in my stomach. I don't know. But anyway, um, I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love each and every one of you guys. 
Uh, I appreciate you guys for everything that you do for me and my family. I appreciate the support. I appreciate every one of y'all watching every video that you've ever watched. I really, really do. I love y'all so much. Y'all don't forget our friend of the channel, Lottie Balls, uh, has started her own channel. I'm trying to share her videos in the community post. A lot of y'all have already went over there, and I thank y'all for that. Um, she just started her YouTube channel, y'all, and uh, she's doing great. She's getting comfortable. She's learning things. And um, go check it out. Go check it out. Yup, go check it out, man. I left a little corn on it. Mmm, this corn was so sweet. Mmm, it was. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, that corn was sweet, honey. Anyhow, y'all, I love y'all. I love you, I love you, I love you. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching the, the last video or any video you ever watched. I appreciate that all, all, all the same. I appreciate y'all. I really, really do. I'm going to clean up the table. Ooh, look like I'm, I'm messing up more than cleaning up, don't y'all? Drop the hot sauce. So anyway, y'all, um, I love y'all. I do. I just want to make sure y'all know that in spite of anything and everything in the world, um, I love y'all. I really do. I love all y'all. Um, I know sometimes, from time to time, we may have different opinions about things, but know that I love you. I really, really do. I love you guys so much. I really, really do. And I appreciate you for loving me. You know what I'm saying? I really, really do. I appreciate you for loving me and loving my family because we love you right back. I'm going to go, y'all. I'm still ramming on. I love you guys so, so much, and I'm going to see you next time. I hope you enjoyed Time I Newly Jen. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one of you because you had to be here. You could have been into what else in the world, but you chose to be right here with us, and we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm at Justin Lee Chan. Round and round we go. E. Round and round we go. I love you guys so, so much, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you said out to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all, and we're going to see you guys next time. And if you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me, and I know you lied. Here we <laughs> Bye bye. Y'all, I'll just say, y'all, I promise you, I, we love our daughter. And we want the best in life for her, which I'm sure most parents do for their children, or should at least uh, for their children. Um, and I know I'm not going to always be here. And I know she's got to learn. And we are teaching her definitely, um, you know, to fend for herself, how to be, um, you know, a respectable young lady, you know, teaching her manners and teaching her more, uh, doing our job. Um, but the world is scary to me for her, you know? And like I said, I know I can't be there always, but I sure want to be there as long as I can. And I really, really do. I really, really do. I want to be there for my child as long as I can. I don't think there's anything in the world that my child could do that, that would make me feel any differently. That's real talk. That's real, real talk. I just, I, I just, I want to be the type of parent that when my child is older, you know, when she does get in her 30s and her 40s and her 50s and she's making life decisions, that I still have some influence. You know, maybe not can be able to tell her what to do because she's grown. But I want her to respect and love uh, uh, my husband and myself enough that her daddy's opinions mean something to her. You know what I'm saying? I want her to go through life knowing that she's got to be happy for herself, but wanting to live up to and please, not necessarily please us, but live up to the standards that we've tried to raise and instill into her. You know, because we want her to be a good girl. Um... If it don't happen before, then I want my daughter to be the first president of the United States. I would love to. I'd be sitting up there, y'all. You know, like, I see greatness in my child. I see greatness in our child. I need to stop saying it that way, but I see greatness in our child. And um, I just want to make sure that we're there to support her through any and everything in her life. I do. Like, I cherish every moment that I have with her, even though sometimes, um, you know, you get tired and you get wrapped up in being grown and the things that you have to do. But I just want to just say to all of the parents out there, um, children are a gift to us all. They really are. And since yours going to be, if you got one round age of mine, yours going to be out there in the world. 
when man is. So teach them something. Uh, you hear me? You never know. One of y'all on here is watching me right now. Your son or your whatever. Maybe you're my daughter. You know? I don't know. But teach them something either way. <laughs> no, I'm just playing y'all. I love y'all. I'm finna get up out of here. I really, really am. But I get so starry-eyed uh, about our daughter because uh, we love her so much and we just want to protect her from any and everything in the world. I guess I'd be wanting to protect her from myself. I don't know. My husband get on to me about that sometimes. Sometimes she'd be wanting to buy stuff that don't match. Or uh, like a lot of times um, she may want something and I may want something that's better for her. I need to get better about letting her make her own choices about things that she want, you know. But I just be trying to make it logical. If you're going to spend the money, go on and spend the money and get the best that you're going to get, bruh. But I should change that because I got to let her begin to develop into the person that she's going to be and stop trying to uh, control um, who I want her to be, I guess to say. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I do know if she going to the store and she want to buy something and she want to spend $60 on anything, I'd rather spend $90 on the best thing or something like that. And I probably shouldn't be that way. I don't know. Anyway, y'all, parenting is hard sometimes. It is. I miss my baby. Um, anyway, I'm about him. I love y'all. Bye. I hope you enjoyed the fish. You were good. I'm out of here now. Love, you. love on your child every day. Love them every day. Love them every day. Because one day will be the last day. For you anyway. For, for us. For us all. I'm ramming again. Bye y'all.